something that's new with 2009 was the capability to make some new boundary patches. So I'm just going to roll this back a little bit. I'm going to come in with my boundary patch tool. And I now have the capability of creating a tangent boundary patch. So here you can see it's half a sphere. Um, previously, to create something like this, I'd have to make a point off in space and then do a loft to actually create this. Now it's recognizing that I want to do a more of a tangent boundary patch to this feature. It automatically creates it for me. Um, you could do just um, a flat boundary patch, which was created earlier um, that I deleted, or um, this new tangent boundary patch um, is capable on all surfaces. So um, there's basically those two different styles, doing a flat one or a tangent. So I'm just going to roll this back where I was previously with my fillets on here. and I want to come in and shell out this feature. So something that's new with the 2009 shell feature is the capability to deselect this automatic space chain. So what that does is right now I have it selected and you can see when I highlight one end, it's going to highlight the whole assembly here. When I turn it off, it gives me the capability to select my different faces. So I can come in and select the ends of all my different tubes and have this component shell out how I want it. Now previously I would have to come in and shell out my main tube and then add some cuts in at the ends of the tubes to create the full shell out feature that I desire. But this removal of the chain allows me to select different faces that act on that shell tool. One more thing that I want to touch on with these sketch tools while I have this assembly open here is the capability now to edit different features in an assembly without actually going into the, the sketch. So maybe I want to make some changes to this line. I now have the capability to go into the properties, select my color. I can even come in and make some changes to the line weight or line type or even change the scale if I'd like to. So you can see I wasn't in my sketch, but I'm able to make changes to my sketch without going into my sketch detail. The next thing I want to talk about is some changes to assembly capacity tool. So you can see I have this large assembly open. Um, there's 452 components. But in my memory box here, it's just telling me what my memory uses and my memory free. Now I have a 32-bit operating system here, but if I had a 64-bit operating system, there's a new um, feature in my memory tool to show what my whole computer is using, what the green would be what my inventor is using, and the rest would be my free space capability. So what this allows me to do is see if I'm utilizing all the memory in my computer, if there's other operations that are open that are taking up too much memory or space. This allows me to go in and turn them off and utilize more um, memory in my inventor.